Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Unauthor Blocks, and I have a confession to make. As you can see, we are stood on a road, and I said that this episode we would mainly be focusing on said road, but I decided that I'd just get it done between episodes, because it would make for a really boring episode just connecting this road up with path blocks. Like... How boring of an episode would that be? So I just went between episodes and I connected up to the shopping district. I rooted it the way we said we would. Carved back this uh, overhang here just to make it go nicely through and into our area here. And later down the line, I'm going to in, uh, inquire the services of a certain pathing pro, my partner in crime. Uh, I can't think who would that be. Uh, let's just say camera crew may be making a return. But anyway, that is a reference, a deep cut reference only certain people are going to get. But hopefully I can implore the services of said person and me and him can get to building this path and making it look really, really nice. But as for now, I'm just going to leave it as a path block path. Uh, and in today's episode, I really want to get done this bank of the river here so i want to get this completely done uh, i don't know how long that's going to take but luckily episode two which it, ha it hasn't even gone out yet when i'm recording this i got recorded a day in advance so i have an actual extra day to get this video done so hopefully i should be able to get all three of these buildings done and get this whole bank of the river done up to the path where and some in the near future we're going to make a mine entrance there. But basically the reason for this is I am running out of storage space quite badly. And I've got a load of random items that I need to sort out. And I think the best way to do that is for me to make a storage system. And I think my plan is I'm going to make three house fronts here built into the mountain. And then I'm going to hollow out the back bit of all three of them. And have them all converge into one big storage area within the mountain. So they'll all have front uh, interiors where they look like individual houses and then there'll be uh, doors or like doors to a basement or something that are all connected with uh, how there is going to be a storage area behind there. And that's where I'm going to keep all of my storage for this season and I hopefully think it should be quite good. So I think I'm going to start by working on this house here where my chests are. Uh, because it is the biggest that we're going to do and I want to get it out of the way first and I want to go for a similar sort of idea as this have a stone foundation with wooden things built on top of it so I'm going to uh, get placing some blocks listen to some music uh, and see what I can really come up with when it comes to this build because I am not sure how this is going to go okay so we have got this general shape of the house pretty much there it's looking really really nice we've gone for the same sort of uh, build palette as this tower here with a sort of old stone base uh, with a wooden on top which I think is looking really really cool uh, but I think for the top half I'm going to use stripped oak logs in there and uh, obviously there's a lot more details that need to come with it and just around the back of the house here the house uh, connects onto the mountain just around the back here. I'm thinking just out the back here we can have a little garden area where they're growing some shrubs and stuff. Uh, and this is where it connects into the mountain where we'll be able to get into our storage area. But as you can see we've closed off everything a little bit. I'm just going to put uh, a couple lanterns down in here so we don't spawn any mobs whilst we're building. But yeah, as you can see we've got a lovely little closed off area. And I think this roof back here is a little plain. So I might add some like little windows in the top of this roof. Uh, and then make this area, as I said, down into a bit of a garden uh, with some flower boxes and stuff out the back here, which I think should be quite cool. And then uh, I think I might, yeah, you'll be able to sp uh, see a glimpse of it. I'll put like a little fence up here or something. Work on that. And then we're going to work on the details around the house. And I'm thinking have like a little log store down here. Maybe have a little trapdoor roof with some logs under it using the campfires. Obviously, we're going to have this path continue on over here down down in front of the house this way which this needs to be addressed we need to do something a little bit like this and now wait for that grass to spread back 
So, yeah, something a bit like that. We can get the slabs in as well. Uh, just continuing the path off down uh, the river bank in front of the house. And as I said, get the log story and get a lot more of the details in place. And hopefully uh, this house will turn out looking pretty good and we can move on to the, to the next couple. But I'm really happy with the shape of this house so far. I might tweak some things. I'm going to add a chimney. That's something I'm going to do. And I'll get back with you once uh, some of the details of this house have been done. But first, uh, I'm going to be linking up with Mighty High, who's not currently online, and uh, clean up the Christmas decorations that are uh, over in the spawn town area, which I can't take off with my singular rocket, and I've wasted it. Right, well, there are Christmas decorations and snow everywhere, and obviously Christmas has passed now, so I've offered to help take down those decorations. So I'm going to do that, and then I will get back with you with some progress of the house. Let me find it there in this shulker box. Right, I'll be back with you once everything is done. So we are back with some more progress on the house here. We have got the exterior pretty much finished up. It's looking really nice, I think. And oh yeah, what I've done basically is I've chosen that uh, stripped oak logs are going to go as the other material with some light grey stained glass panes in there. And then we've got some spruce trap doors acting as shutters and uh, some fence posts with lanterns on just for a bit of lighting around the house. Uh, and then over on this side, we've got a, a nice big bay window, which is looking really nice. Again, with the two uh, spruce wood shutters, that's looking really nice. And obviously, when this house is built up here, the view from the bay window will be cut a bit. But that's why I chose to go with the bay window, the slightly rounded one, because you can still see out this like diagonal uh, with it, which uh, shouldn't take away too much when we build this house up. And I'm waiting to do the detailing 
just in this gap here. Once this is house is once this house is built, we can make we uh, make a, a log store or something there. But anyway, around the bottom here, we've got a crate just on the edge of the road here, made out of wooden trap doors. Uh, a little water trough made out of a spruce trap door and a stone brick stair with a tripwire hook acting as a bit of a tap or pump. Uh, and then just piled up under this uh, section of wall here is just some logs with some extinguished campfires acting as little log piles, which I think look really nice alongside the path. And then coming through here we got the path curving just off here into the door and on this uh, sort of hillside here, I'm gonna get some shrubbery, maybe a custom tree, maybe yeah, some basically what we have back here, just over here. And then if we go through here, the interior is what we're gonna be working on next after I've done that hillside of greenery, getting this all sorted. But if we pop up here, and out here we've got uh, the back side of the house where the little garden's gonna be going, and I'm gonna be working on that in just a minute. But here we have a chimney coming out of a fireplace that's in the second floor. Uh, that goes up there and that again as a campfire uh, encased in some trapdoors with a cobble wall on top to create the illusion of a chimney giving off smoke which looks really nice and this is the obviously the top of that hillside we're going to convert so I'm going to get working on a bit of the greenery and shrubbery and then get the interior fully finished before we move on to the next house and I'll catch you back once that is done. Okay, so guys, this house is pretty much finished up now. I added a couple more things. I added some jungle leaves there as like little flower baskets, bushes outside the windows with some flower pots on top of them. They just add that little bit of colour that makes the house just feel that little bit more lived in. And I've also added in over here uh, a small pine tree, so basically a smaller version of these big trees over here with some berry bushes all around and some other bushes and again with the jungle leaves. And then I've also done the interior to the house. So if we come in here, it is very, very cramped and small here. I was thinking this is some sort of like toolsmith. So once I get an anvil in here and stuff, it would look pretty cool. Or like a tool guy. So he's got his furnace and he's got his uh, grind stone cutter here, which looks a bit like it could be used for sharpening the tools. Uh, I'll get a grindstone in here once I move out these chests here and the shulker box as soon as the storage area is ready for all this stuff to go in. I'm just going to dump all that in there. And yeah, we got some barrels and some more chests for general storage until we get a storage area set up, which will be through this tunnel here. That's how it'll open up. Uh, and then up in the upstairs area, we've got a door here that shuts off the ladder and this goes up into the bedroom where we've got a fireplace which goes to the chimney outside some more storage up in these areas this one doesn't open it's just for aesthetics but these two do and we've got a bed here with again a little bit more storage hidden away there uh, which looks really really nice and then in here we have got more of a like drawing room we've got a bench uh, and two house plants next to the big bay window where you get a really really nice view out uh, and we've got a little like writing desk here Looking out of this window with a uh, cozy little armchair sort of thing with again another lantern just to light things up and then this is the way we go through to the garden. So in here we've got a little like utility room with a crate, a chest, pillager head. Then we go out here and it's just got the, the garden where we're growing some red berries and I'm just adding them in roughly whenever we get some so I think that'll probably do. And that's just a little overgrown little garden area, which I think is a cool little hidden away part to this house. And yeah, this house is now pretty much done. And we are ready to move on to uh, the next house along the coastline. So this episode is going to be focusing on the exterior of the storage area. So we've got one house here, which looks really good. And now we're going to move on to this house here, which is slightly smaller and should hopefully allow us to do this bit in here. Um, so in the next jump cut you'll see the start of the foundations for this house. I'm going to maybe do them a bit similarly, uh, maybe make this house a little shorter hopefully, uh, so this bay window view isn't obstructed too much. Then this house here will be a bigger one again and it should allow us to get this shoreline pretty much complete so next time you see me this house will be uh, underway okay so I've got something set up a 
bit with this house, and I'm not entirely sure on it. It's uh, but it's yeah, it's a smaller house, a lot smaller actually compared to this one. But I kind of like it. I like the um, strip logs with the white concrete. But it still needs some work. Um, I'm toying with the idea of having... I just need to fill these in. Of having a dark oak roof rather than this oak roof. And then the other house that we're going to build will have the oak roof. Okay, that's better now we got that spruce in. But... I think the oak on oak is just not much of a colour change. And I think that if we switch this roof to dark oak, it'll make these trapdoors fit a little better. But, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It's definitely a work in progress. And, yeah, I'm going to switch over the roof and I'll see how I feel about it. Okay, so I've switched over the roof to this dark oak wood, and I've changed the dark oak trapdoors to spruce ones. And I haven't actually had a look at how it looks, so let's hope it's better. Oh. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, that works a lot better for me. Yeah, definitely, now it's got the darker roof, as opposed to the... To the oak wood, on the oak wood, and... Yeah, that, that works a lot better than it did before. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that is pretty much done now. I just need to get the windows in. And I'm toying with what glass colour to go with. And I think I'm going to settle on yellow and see how that looks. I don't have any yellow glass at the minute. Let's just collect all these up whilst I'm talking. Um, so I need to go get some more glass to make that and then we'll get working on the interior and the details of the outside But what I really like is how the floor for uh, the door for this one is on the second floor And you actually have to duck to get up into it, which is kind of cool like you have to crouch Which I think is just a cool little thing that is Yeah, it's like now we can do that in Minecraft. We can crouch through smaller gaps We can make uh, a, a walkway up to a house where you have to duck because maybe the owner of the house is shorter than you, and when they built it, it it clears their head, but not yours. But, yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this house has turned out now. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to get working on some of the details around the outside, the glass and the interior. And I'll catch you back once it's done. Alright, so this house is now done. Near enough, I'm pretty sure it's completely done. And bam! Look at how good that looks. I'm so happy with how that's turned out, and I think the... Yellow stained glass panes are pretty nice. They might take some getting used to uh, And if I don't like how they look I'll switch them out for the light gray again But I think they look pretty nice to give it quite a homely feel as if light is coming out of there um, They may be just a little bright around the edge, but we'll give it a go and Change them out if they look out of place But what I have done is if we jump over the river one thing we need to do this episode is build a bridge across here and yeah, I am. I've added a little uh, shed here with some pumpkins in it that's coming off this house, uh, and uh, grown up the foliage around here. Added a mailbox here for people to leave me gifts, and some more grass around here. I haven't touched this side at all because obviously this house is going to go here. But yeah, if we head on up inside, we have also done the interior, and this is. I'm thinking this is like some sort of like blacksmith but not a major one not like a weaponsmith or a toolsmith someone who makes like horseshoes nails very very simple stuff like that so we've got a bit of a table up here with a, a barrel uh, a lovely little like balcony area down here so you can look down below this sort of allows uh, the heat from below to spread around the entire house rather than just being cooped up down there and if we go across this trap these trap doors here we get up into the bedroom we've got a lantern a bed some storage and a crate just up in this little bit atop uh, this tunnel which is obviously going to lead into our storage area like in the other house and then if we open up these trap doors we can head on downstairs where the smithing area is we've got the big fire here which obviously this grate will uh, be able to be opened and you can put your horseshoes your nails whatever in there smash them out on the anvil use your tools from the smithing tool uh, station some water there to cool it very very nice down here we got another barrel for storage and then we got this tunnel here which is opening and I'm just wondering maybe 
if we do something a bit like this this might look awful it might look pretty good just so it's not an open tunnel into the uh, eventual storage system we'll have going on but I'm just thinking what if we were to do something like this just so it makes it uh, as if there's a big door there rather than it just being a big old open area but oh, I need to get in there properly uh, it did let's place it good how does this look that actually looks really good yeah no I think we will go with that it's slightly annoying how the saturation on the spruce door is ever so slightly different to the uh, spruce trap door but I think it works for all intents and purposes uh, and yeah I think that is pretty good as a big door so I'm gonna do that over in the other house as well but yeah this this house is now complete I really like how it looks uh, and how it is accessible and quite open and yeah that door looks really good from up here as well I'm happy with how this has turned out um, and now the thing we have left to do is get on and build the final house and get this bridge sorted as well I think I'm gonna take from take a break from building the house for just a minute before we move on to this one and start work on this bridge here uh, and see what I can throw together and I'll get back with you when we've got something that we like because I don't have any of the materials I want to make a little stone arched bridge but I'll get back with you once that is done but this area is looking magnificent okay so it's been a slightly longer episode this time this is the second to last clip hopefully because we are getting the groundwork in for this final townhouse here that should look really really nice and what I've done as well is I've built this little bridge here very simple very neat little bridge just goes over here and you can walk along the road of this side of the river and yeah so the plan for this one is it's gonna be a much bigger house than even that one because it is gonna be five high on the bottom so a big stone base and this opening here is gonna be for a horse pen uh, and it's gonna be a small stables where there's gonna be an entrance there for the tackle house there where the person next door obviously makes the horseshoes uh, and then the uh, saddle maker and whatnot is going to be living here with a horse area here to get out your horse and then there is the path up to the guard tower here that's going to be under part of the house as like an overhang and then the other part of the house is going to be a small tower just here next to this guard tower and obviously we're not going to overshadow the guard tower but we're just going to build a small small tower there which hopefully should end up looking really nice and I think the build palette for this is I'm gonna go for some oak logs not strip like this one but just some oak logs and then maybe some white terracotta rather than white concrete uh, so it has that little pinkish vibe that should look very very nice uh, when it comes to being built but uh, the next jump cut will be that house completely done interior and all all the details and we should be ready to end off the episode so I will catch you back once that house has been complete and then this whole side of the river should be complete and it'll look really nice hopefully okay we are now completely done with this side of the river and my goodness it looks amazing this house here which isn't actually a house I will explain that in just a minute looks so good there it fits really perfectly and yeah it's just exactly what I envisioned when you walk down here just to see this whole shoreline looking fantastic so what I'm gonna do is show you what we have done and what we've created this should be really cool so over here we now have the Riverside Inn yes we have got an inn there is already an inn on the server called the Redstone is Inn and if people want to stay there feel free but if they want to come up into the mountains please do and I will rent you a room depending on which room it is will depend on the price but yeah look at that it looks absolutely amazing I'm so happy with how this turned out and yeah I will just go in this big door around the front here so that I mentioned this was originally gonna be a stables I decided to change it for an inn but yeah in here we got a little bar area again the entrance to where our storage system is gonna be just in there I might put like a sign on it saying staff no entry or staff only no entry rather I've got the bar here with a, a keg with a tap on it got some tables and chairs in here a lovely painting 
Uh, but that is not all. We've actually got a got a campfire up there. I probably should hide that. If I just go a blamo kablamo, that's much better. But yeah, if we go out through the bar and up the stairs instead of getting trapped under the bar, we go up to where all the rooms are. So out here we've just got a couple lanterns and all of the rooms, and here we've got a little service cupboard, which is just a, a little crawl space which. I didn't really know what to do with, so I put a lantern and a crafting table in there. Uh, we got a lantern up there. We got room number one. This is the smallest room, and it's out behind the fireplace, so it's quite warm, and there is not much of a view. I can say that. But this room is going to be the cheapest by far. Uh, and then you come out here. You got room two over here, ever so slightly bigger. Um, need to just do that. I've got some more terracotta for that area there and yeah just all this needs is a couple finishing touches like so maybe put another another lantern on that shelf just to keep the room lit up nicely and yeah we got a chest and crafting table as well as another bed and with pretty pretty good view out the uh, front of the building there but room number three is the the best view it's got the big bay window like that it's amazing view we got a bed Got a little desk with a with a lantern, and yeah, this room is the biggest and the nicest because it's got the big window, and such a lovely view here. And then out this direction, we've just got uh, another couple windows you can look out of, and the out the back of the build here, which connects up to this wall, and it's just a way to get in and out the building from the back, like a back door sort of area. We got another little window that's room one in there that you can see out of. And as you can see, this is our pathway up from down below to the guard tower, which we built in the last episode. And yeah, you can just go down here, and that brings you out to the front of the river where we got a crate and a little fence here. And over here we got some barrels and a crafting table, all overgrown. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this build especially has turned out. Um, I think it looks really nice with the different like elevations and different roofs. And it uh, fits in there really quite well. And this whole uh, roadside now looks just really nice and complete, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. But anyway, guys, I've been Toby. Sorry it's been a slightly longer episode by a couple minutes, but we have got so much progress done in this episode of Unauthor Blocks, and I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. And yeah, just leave a comment down below with what you think we should do in the next episode. But yeah, I've been Toby. This has been Unauthor Blocks, and I'll see you in the next episode.